everyone, it's Mark Salerno from Salerno Realty and I'm standing in front of one of my newest listings that's coming to the market and we've decided to make this video for YouTube specifically because we want to do a tips and tricks kind of deal for realtors to help them out when you're selling your next listing. So with this particular home, it's a 1500 square foot three bedroom townhouse and our clients have never moved into this house so it's vacant. There's no furniture inside of it. So it's basically what you got from the builder and now we got to sell it. So we decided we were going to stage this property. So we've already selected all of our furniture. We're waiting for the furniture company to arrive at the property. And we're going to show you what we do from start to finish on getting this home ready for sale and to be sold for top dollar. So I hope you enjoy this video. So we're at the office right now and we decided to stage this property ourselves. So what we have to do is go online. We have a company that we rent our, our furniture from and basically I select it. So obviously I've been to the property already. I have an idea for what I wanna do. So now it's just a matter of seeing what's in stock and what we can get available and delivered for Friday because our stage is coming up in a few days. So let's do the search. So welcome to the property. Now, 2020 is only about 65 to 70 days away. So you can imagine with all of the technologies available to us, there's no reason why a property should ever have to show itself vacant. So you could either virtual stage a property or you can do real staging of a property. You can also do a combination of both. When we stage properties, the main rooms that we focus on staging is mostly the entire main floor plus the master bedroom. When it comes to secondary bedrooms, it's not as important and we'll typically virtual stage those rooms. So when we post it online or we have it in our booklets, you won't see an empty room shown. So I wanted to create this video for a few reasons. I want to really show clients and realtors what the behind the scenes is of putting together an actual staging event at a property that you're gonna have listed because we actually called one of our stagers to come out to the property and give us an evaluation on it. So it actually turns out that us staging this property ourselves is costing us about 20 to 25% more than what the stager was gonna charge us. So you're probably wondering, why would you do it then? Again, we want to do this not always about the money. We want to make sure that A, we can show you guys what we're doing. And also, again, I like designing, so I wanted to do it myself, this one here. It's a smaller project. We're going to have a little bit of fun with this. And again, I think having this BTS is something that's going to be very valuable for you. So I don't want to be leading you guys in the wrong way because when it comes to staging, it is not an easy process. So if you're not familiar yourself with staging a property, I highly recommend you hire a professional. For the first 13 years of my career, we never used a stager as I like to design and I like to stage properties, so we do it ourselves. Uh, over the last year or so, we've started bringing in some stagers just because of time-wise. And when it gets to bigger properties, it is nice to get a professional's opinion about it. But again, I do have a design background, so I enjoy doing it. So this particular property here, it's a 1,500 square foot townhouse. The floor plan on the main area of this home makes it a little bit difficult because we have the TV jack that's set right in front of the kitchen. So typically the TV should be put in this position. Now, I looked at some other listings that have been sold with this model and they've done different variations. They've done the table in that area and they've done the table in this area here. Today we've decided to keep it traditional. We're gonna put the, fat, the uh, TV up on that wall. We're gonna put a four person table here and then we're gonna have a sectional couch that's facing the wall. Now, there's certain things that you have to look at when staging because it's very important that you select the right furniture. If you do not select the right furniture, it could turn out a disaster and it could probably look worse than actually doing it in person. And the other thing too is when it comes to virtual staging, because virtual staging has gotten huge over the last year and a half to two years. I have to really advise you on this. If you're gonna do virtual staging, make sure you are using a professional who knows how to do it. Because I've seen situations in the past where someone, for example, were to put a virtual staged family room in this area and the couch was this high and it looks shrunken in the photos and it just looks really weird. The house is gonna look bad and your clients are gonna be upset. So as you can imagine, since we've done a lot of staging in the past, we've bought a lot of knickknacks. So, my car right now 
is full of extra stuff aside from what the furniture company is bringing through as again when you're buying small let's say for example bedspreads or you're buying little uh, candle holders and stuff it builds up over time so we're gonna bring what we have inside or at least what we selected for this listing into the property as we wait for the furniture to arrive So the furniture company's here and we're starting to put this all together. Wait till you see what we do this place. It's gonna be a night and day difference and you will see how we get more money when we sell homes because of the extra mile that we go through in preparing them. Very important for your clients, guys. Do not cheese out. Make sure you're doing everything possible to put the home in the best position to sell because guess what? It's gonna sell faster. It's gonna sell for more money and you're gonna get referrals from this, which means you're gonna get more business. Stay tuned. You always get like nervous about the furniture you select. You want to make sure it fits. So this is like the moment of truth right now for this sectional. Let's find out. Well, first we got to get it inside the house. <laughs> So sometimes when you're staging, things break and uh, it's gonna finish cleaning up all this broken glass. We're gonna finish this stage up. This is, that was a problem when you hit a stud, this, oh crap. So we're in the master bedroom now and we fully stage this master bedroom as you can see behind me. And as I was discussing earlier in the video, we do stage the main floor. So when it comes to staging, people are scared because you know, realtors typically sit there and say, well, how do I approach my clients about paying for the stage? That's up to you. And we've been, I don't wanna say ridiculed in the past because we include staging as a part of our service. Uh, and I know people are a little bit hesitant to say, wow, you actually front the bill for staging. It works on a monthly basis also. So if you don't sell a property within the first month and you carry into the second month, then obviously your costs are going to go higher. Uh, so it's very important on pricing a home correctly when you are gonna stage it, because before you know it, potential commissions earned can be blown on staging. And then it's just something that's not gonna work out for anybody. So again, we do pay for the staging of our properties. It's very important for us. Um, we feel comfortable because we're confident in our work and we know that we are gonna sell a property. So that's why we do it. Um, when you start doing photos, videos, floor plans, pre-home inspections and staging, 
listen, a big chunk of change is taken out of pocket before the property has even hit the market. So that is also another reason why we're not a discount brokerage. Very simply put, we could have listed this home, uh, did photos for a couple hundred bucks and threw this thing on the market. But for us, for example, here, this is probably a five, more than $5,000 start before we've hit the market. So depending on how your structure is, I can't tell you how to sell real estate. Um, it's all about your comfort level and how you wanna approach your listings. Most sellers are not comfortable fronting the money for staging. So totally up to how you wanna do it. This is how we do it. However you wanna do it is up to you. So we have officially finished our stage. We are gonna be doing our video and we are gonna be going to the market with this property in the next three days. This stage from delivery to finish took us about three hours to do. We did all of our selecting prior online so it was a very easy process. I think that it's a game changer for what this house looks like right now. We're gonna be posting some more photos and videos of the property with befores and afters, but you saw it all in the video here. Let me know what you guys think. I'd love you to comment below if you felt that this was valuable for this property sale and we will let you know and update you how the sale went once it is sold. So we have a little update for you guys. We've been on the market for 24 hours and we had two booked in showings day one. Got a call late last night from one of the agents, told me he's gonna be submitting an offer. So we did receive an offer last night. I called to follow up with the second agent who showed and even better news, they are also bringing us an offer. So we're gonna be reviewing both these offers probably in the next handful of hours. Hopefully we will have this property either sold conditionally or sold firm, stay tuned. Happy rainy Wednesday, everybody. You're probably wondering why I have a smile on my face. We just put the sold sign down here at Six Cuddles Court in Bolton, Ontario. Just over 24 hours on the market. This property is sold firm. Congratulations to our clients. I hope that you guys felt this was a valuable video for yourself. And if you have any other questions or you maybe want me to do some other videos for you, let me know. Follow, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our Instagram as we do a lot more BTS behind the scenes on our Instagram page at Salerno Real Estate. Hope everyone has a great day.